I sell this automation to ad agencies for $1,000 per pop. And if you are an agency or somebody that runs Google Ads, you're gonna need to absolutely use this automation and stick around because I'm gonna show you how to build it, okay? So what does this automation do? Well, there's two parts to it, okay? The first one is a run ads report, which is a custom report module. And what it does is it will output data, but it needs to be aggregated, okay? So which this, this is why I'm using a CSV. And this is just a duplicate of this. And this is like a 30 day snapshot. This is like a last week's snapshot, okay? The most important thing in this automation is the module, that's the ChatGPT module here, which will process all the data, okay? And this will look for trends, it'll look for opportunities, it'll look for problems, basically any blind spot that's associated with the campaigns, right? Because it is actually crunching the data that's coming through from Google, the Google Ads account, okay? Once it is done, it will then post the results into Slack, okay? So for this example, I'm using Slack, but you can put this on Airtable, you can put this in Google, uh, Google Docs, um, you know, Microsoft Docs, uh, and you can also PDF it and, you know, email it to the head of marketing if you wanted to, right? So I'm gonna run this live and show you exactly what the output looks like. So the biggest module is gonna be to process the data because that's dependent on the amount of data you have, but I don't have that much data for this example uh, because I've kept it short, but you can see that it's worked successfully. So let's jump into Slack. So this is the Slack channel that I've created for this. And you can see that it's, it's basically monitoring all the campaigns that are inside of this account, okay? Now, I don't run any ads on this. This is like an old dropshipping store that I was running. But you can see that the overall performance of the campaign has declined dramatically due to the significant drops in clicks, conversions, and impressions across the single campaign analyzed. The campaign appears to have become inactive, resulting in complete succession of engagement and conversion activities. Immediate investigation into the campaign status is necessary to identify the reasons for this decline and implement corrective measures. Now that's a pretty amazing, right? Because it knows that the campaigns are in decline. It even gives you an ex ex explanation for each of these campaigns, right? The ab absence of impressions indicates the campaign was not active, which is not, it's not been running for a while, right? But you get, kind of get the picture. Now, if you do have lots of campaigns, Lots of ad groups running with conversion data, clicks data. You can monitor whatever you want, right? It's going to output this and it's going to give you significant insights that would normally take hours because I used to do this. I used to do this myself, right? And for the agency that I worked with, it, it, you know, we spend hours doing this kind of stuff. Okay, so how do you build this? How do you build this automation? Well, I'm going to show you. Um, so let's head over to a new scenario. And the first thing you want to do is bring up the Google Ads module the ads report module, and you wanna build a custom report, okay? So connect it up to your uh, Google Ads account. So I've got it here, and then I'm just gonna select this one. And then for the query, you wanna basically build something like this. So this is a Google Ads query, okay? Um, it looks technical, but it's really not. So all I'm telling it is, this is the segment of the week that I want, and this is when the account started, right? Um, but you can set up any time frame that you want. Okay, so this is the query. Okay, okay that, and then just run it. So run this module, just to make sure the output's correct, and, and it is, right? It's got a green tick, it's it's looking green, and yeah, the output's there. Because we're gonna need these fields, right? You see uh, campaign name, metrics, etc., etc. okay? So that's the first module. And I do recommend that you rename it. So go into rename here, and then just call it something unique. Okay, so, um, what I've done here is I've called it the run as report, right? Because it just tells me what it's gonna do. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna add the CSV uh, module, but you want you want to create CSV advanced, okay? And this is dependent on the run a custom report module. So make sure you set this up first before you connect it to the CSV module, okay? And then the structure you wanna select is obviously the Google Ads. And then you just map the fields, right? So for campaign name, you've got campaign name, Metric clicks, you've got metric clicks. Um, metric conversions, you've got conversions. You've got um, the cost micros, you can plug that in into there. And the impressions is just the metrics impressions. And segment week is just segment week, okay? Um, and that's pretty much it. All right, so let's move that across, you can see it. And then you can just duplicate um, this module and just change the output of it, okay? So we're gonna select both, copy, and then paste, and then just align it 
And now for this, I've got a different query, right? Because the date range has changed, okay? So I'm gonna select this. But again, you can put any date range you want in here, okay? This is entirely up to you, very customizable. Okay, so head over to the Google Ads report module and just paste that in there, okay? And this just means that this can't be the last module, right? It needs to be attached to something. That's why you've got yellow bubble here, okay? Um, so this is what it should look like once you've done the two Google Ads reports and the CSV modules, okay? So let's move this across and we're gonna plug in the OpenAI ChatGPT uh, completion, okay? Now, I would suggest that you use a message, an assistant, if you're gonna use this across multiple accounts, right? So if you've got like 10 accounts, 20 accounts, if you're an agency, you probably wanna use a message assistant because then you don't have to keep um, copy and pasting the prompt into ChatGPT, okay? But because I'm just using one account, I'm just gonna use the completion, okay? And then you just connect to your account. And what's happened here? Uh, let me select the correct opening our account. And this is a chat GPT completion module. And then the model I typically use is uh, 4 Mini. It's because it's very affordable and it's pretty cheap to, to build this. Okay, so for the max complete tokens, I'd set it to zero. So I just let OpenAI decide um, whatever it needs to do. Okay, and then for the prompt, I'm going to show you exactly how I built this. So I'm just going to copy and paste it from here. So I typically do a system role first, right? So system will give it context. It'll tell it exactly what it needs to do. Okay, so for this, I've just put you are a Google Ads report analyst. Okay, so we could do the same here. Select system and then just type in you are a Google Ads report analyst or, you know, admin or, or you know, whatever you want to call it. Just give it context. Don't spend too long on here. The most important part is the second part, which is the user role. And this is where you're going to have the extent, extensive prompt. Okay. So second one's user. And this is the longer prompt, right? This is exactly what I'm telling it to do. Okay. So you want to copy this. And I'll go through it on this. Okay. So I just need to remap these. Uh, which is the first one. And this one is the second one. Okay, so we can move that here. And we can get rid of this one. It just means that this is com comparing seven to five, which is these modules here, okay? Now to go through the prompt, let me just go through it. So basically I'm just giving it a bit more information, right? So here's the data from two weeks ago. Here's last week's data. So, and you can have it, you can put this at any time frame, right? You just gotta remember to, to set the query in the ads modules, okay? Now this here, analyze both sets of uh, data carefully, comparing the metrics between the last week and this week. Pay attention to key performance indicators, such as impressions, clicks, click-through rate, conversions, conversion rates, cost per click, and ROI, AS, or return on ad spend, okay? Now these can be whatever you want it to be, right? I'm running, I was running a e-commerce business, so I was selling physical products, so I wanted, cost per, you know, the cost per click, I want a cost per conversions, I want a conversion rate and return on ad spend, right? They were important KPIs for me, but you would obviously just change it to whatever is important to you. For the purpose of this analysis, consider a change to be significant if it meets any of the following criteria. Now, if you follow me and if you follow this channel long enough, you'll know that when it comes to ChatGPT, you wanna make sure that it has examples, right? You gotta be very, very specific with ChatGPT because the output is directly proportional to the input. If your input, if the prompt is extensive, if it's detailed, if it has examples, you're going to get a much better output. And I know, you know, you're going to, you're going to be lazy. You're going to kind of feel, you know, that it's going to take a long time to do this. But trust me, the, the results that you get when you do just put in a bit of effort. I mean, a problem like this will take me, I don't know, 30, 35 minutes, something like that to kind of build and test. And it's well worth it. It's well worth the time, right? Because remember, this is a $1,000 automation that I'm selling. And it's saving the, you know, these clients hours hundreds of hours every month, okay? So I've set it some criteria here, and these can be whatever criteria you want, and then uh, identify all significant changes based on these criteria. For each significant change, provide the metric that changed, the value for both weeks, the percentage change, a brief explanation of the potential impact of the change. 
and significant changes. Okay, so I want it, I'm being very specific. Just, you know, any drop in performance, any changes, any you know variation from cost per click, cost per conversion that's negative. You know, I want I want this automation to tell me. I want ChatGPT to tell me. And then present your findings in the following format. I mean, this I've just put this in here because it looks nice, but you can you can put it into whatever. Um, automation, uh, whatever uh, thing you want it to be in, okay? And then, yeah, I think we've got everything there that we need, okay? So the last thing you want to do is uh, put the output to wherever you want to go. So if you want to go to Airtable, you want to connect, connect an Airtable module. If you want to put it into Google Sheets, you're probably going to want to put it into something like Google Docs. Right, so create a new document, or you can just add a paragraph, uh, insert a paragraph to a document. So if you've already got an existing document, you want to use this one. Um, or you can put it uh, into Slack. Okay, so which is what I'm going to do. So let's connect a Slack module, and we're going to create a message because I've already got a channel that's created. Um, and let me just show you the channel ID. So it's this one here. Google Ads report. And then the text is just going to be the result. Okay, you just plug in the result, whatever the output is from the ChatGPT module. And yeah, remember to save it. Remember to give it a useful name. So typically what I do is I give it something like this. Okay, Google Ads report summary, Google Ads, ChatGPT Slack. The reason I do this is because if I can't remember exactly what I used in the modules, right? Because I've built over you know three, four hundred automations, I can't always remember what I did, right? Uh, because this is over you know a few years. So, but I know which modules I used, right? So I know that most of them will have ChatGPT. Some will have Slack. Some will have Google Ads. So if I don't remember the name, like I, sometimes I forget. I've, I've called a Google Ad report summary. Then I know that I've used the Google Ads module, right? So then I can search. So I can search on any of these keywords, right? And I'll bring it up. Okay, I remember to save it, and that's about it. This is literally a gold mine. You all you gotta do is just find agencies and sell it to them. Okay, so if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment below. Um, if you've got something you want to see, if you want me to build something on this uh, channel, then just leave your comments below. I respond to everyone, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching.